Hey everyone, I hope you are doing good and staying safe. Welcome to Simply Coach YouTube channel and in today's session we are going to learn about SQL like operator and wildcard characters used in SQL. Now SQL developers who frequently work with large data sets and analyze enormous amounts of data find that they often need to query specific types. Now SQL provides us with many such tools to accomplish this and one such operator is SQL like which helps us to look at specific data types instead of the entire database. This reduces the time and effort spent on any given task and gives people the opportunity to work more efficiently. So in this tutorial on SQL like operator, we'll be learning how to query data to find specific patterns using the like operator in SQL. But before we begin, if you're new to the channel and haven't subscribed already, make sure to subscribe to our channel Simply Code to stay updated with all the latest technologies and hit that bell icon to never miss an update from us. So without any further ado, Let's get started with today's topic. Firstly, let us understand what is SQL like clause. The like operator is used to find specific characters in a tables column. It is also used to compare columns with the specified values. Together with the where clause, it determines if a pattern matches specific values in a table. It uses wildcard characters, which are characters used to replace one or more characters in a string to fulfill this purpose. You can also use like when only a portion of the value in that table is known. Let us now understand the syntax. The syntax is simple. It is usually used with the select command and the syntax of this is followed as select column one, column two, so on up to column n from table name where column name like and pattern. Now basically the columns to be shown in the result table are specified after the select statement. The column that is designed for pattern matching is specified in the where clause and the pattern formed from the specific row selection which is defined in the pattern parameter of the like operator. Now the like operator is case insensitive that means you can either give capital or small letters as well. Now multiple patterns can be specified with this operator using the and or or keywords as well and wildcard characters are the most vital tools of this operator. So let's go over what these are and how they're used with the like operator. So what is wildcard character? Now wildcard characters are special symbols and characters used to represent one or more than one character in a string. These are imperative to the like operator as these enable patterns to be specified. That is it filters the data using certain patterns to identify a value of a string in the database. Now the two wildcards used with the like operator are generally percent and the underscore. Now the percent sign is used to represent zero or one or more characters whereas the underscore is used to represent exactly one character. Now to get a clear picture of both these characters let us look at an example uh, in an SQL statement and see how they are used. Now consider this following example which is select employee id employee name from employees where name like a percent now from this table employee if you want to know the employee id of all the employees whose names start with a letter or character a you should use this following query which is the uh, character or the pattern we are using here is a percentage now as we discussed earlier you can also use a small letter a instead of capital letter a because the like operator is not case sensitive. Now there are many operations that can you, that you can perform using by specifying different patterns using the like operators. Now, for example, if you have to find a value that starts with a, then the following query would be where column name like a pattern. So basically, we are mentioning the pattern here as a percentage, which will retrieve all those uh, string values which starts with the character a. Now similarly, if you want to find values that end with let's say sh, then you have to use percentage sh. Now similarly, if you want to find values that can have a character a in any position, then you have to mention the pattern as where column name like percentage a percentage, which basically returns any values that contain the letter a in any position. And similarly, you can use the underscore operator as well. Let's say if you want to return only exact return exactly one character, then you have to mention a single underscore sign. Now, let's say if you want to find values that have uh, a character A in third position, then the following query would be where column name like 
and within the single quotes you have to mention three underscores that is uh, three times you have to specify the underscore that would be present before the character a and then you have to mention the percentage and similarly you have these different types of operations which you can uh, take a screenshot of this by pausing this video now so now that we have understood how exactly sql like works let us jump into my sql workbench to understand in depth on how these exactly work by using their different examples if getting your learning started is half the battle, what if you could do that for free? Visit SkillUp by Simply Learn. Click on the link in the description to know more. As you can see, my SQL Workbench just started and in order to execute the SQL-like operator, let us consider a following table in our database, let's say new employees on which we'll apply various operations using the like operator. So let me first display the records that are present in the new employees table and for that, I'm using the select operator and the query is select star from new employees so let me just execute this and a new employees table has various columns such as employee id first name last name email phone number hiring date job id salary manager id and department so firstly let us discuss some examples using the percent wildcard which basically uses the percentage sign right so let's say if i want to fetch the details of all those employees whose first name starts with a or let's say s then the following query would be select star from the table name that is new employees where is the conditional clause first name like is the keyword and within the single quotes mention s percentage now it is important to enclose all the patterns that you have specified in a single inverted comma otherwise the query will return a syntax error so let me just display this and execute this so when you execute this query it has returned me seven rows uh, as you can see in the output which basically uh, returns all those employees name whose uh, first name starts with the character that is s so we have like different employees like Susan Mavris, Shelley Higgins, Shelley Baida, Sigal Tobias and etc. Now similarly, let's say if we want to fetch the details of all those employees whose uh, last name or like first name ends with, uh, let us take a character, let's say uh, N. So let me just display and uh, execute the query. So when you execute this query, it basically returns all those employees uh, details whose first name ends with N. Like for example, if you consider here Susan Mavris, whose first name has uh, N in the last position. And similarly, we have Herman Bayer, John Chen, Den Rafley and etc. Next, let us take another example. Let's say if I want to select all the employees whose first name starts with uh, let's say s and uh, ends with let's say n so then the following query would be select star from new employee where first name like now the first character would be s and you have to mention the percentage symbol and the next last character would be n so let me just display, execute this statement. So as you can see, we have uh, records of three employees whose uh, first name have the letter or the character S in the first place and the character N in the last place. For example, Susan Mavris, in the first name we have S in the first place and N in the last place. Similarly, we have Stephen Markle and Stephen Stiles. Now let us take another example. Let's say uh, I want to find the details of the particular employee. Now the thing is, I don't know the exact name of that employee, but I know that uh, his salary is somewhere between 30,000 and 50,000. So for that, I can use the AND or operator here. So the following query would be select star from new employee where first name like Let's say if I know the employee name starts with uh, K, okay, then we'll mention the percentage symbol and we'll mention uh, the AND operator here and salary 
बिटवीन थर्टी थाउजेंड फिफ्टी थाउजेंड so let us execute this statement and we'll see the output so when you execute this we can see that there are no records in the table that means there is no employee whose name starts with k and his salary is between 30000 and 50000 so let us take another example let's say the employee's name starts with j so and his salary is somewhere between 30000 and 15000 so let me just execute this statement now as you can see in our result set we have three different employees uh Jennifer Valen Julia Nair and Jason Malin whose salary is between 30000 and 50000 respectively like we have 44000 32000 and 33000 so in this way you can find the details of employee even if you do not know their complete details but just by specifying the pattern uh of their name or the character that uh, we have in their name you can fetch their details now if you want to if you further know their department id let's say uh, jennifer valen department id is 10 and she belongs to that department and i want to get the details of that employee only then i can retrieve their details in this way so i hope you've understood how to use the percentage sign to find the different patterns uh, in order to find the complete uh, string value from the table let us now discuss uh, some examples using the underscore while character using the under underscore symbol so let me take an example here let's say if we want to fetch the details of all those employees who have exactly three characters in their first name so in that case the following query would be select star from new employees where first name like and within the quotes now we we've discussed there should be only three exactly three characters in their name right so we'll mention the underscore three times 1 2 3 close the single brackets and let us execute this statement so as you can see it has fetched a total of four records uh for example pat fay uh we have only three characters that is p a t in his first name and similarly we have lex dehan den rafidly guy himro all these employees have only exactly three characters in their first name let us start take another example let's say if we want to select all the employees with the first name that starts with s and are at least five characters in length then in that case the following query would be select star from new employees where first name like single quotes now the first character would be s so i'm mentioning s and after s we have to mention the underscore four times that basically means it will return an exactly of uh, at least five characters in our rough uh, employees table who is having the first name uh, having five characters so let me just execute this statement and we'll see the output so as you can see we have two uh, records of employees susan mavris and sigal tobias now if you look uh, carefully susan whose first name has a total of 5 characters that is s u s a and that is 5 and similarly we have sigal now if you want at least uh, let's say 5 characters in length then you have to mention the percentage sign so it basically means uh, the employee's name will start with s and it will have at least 5 characters in length so let me just execute the statement so it will display all those records uh, whose first name is starts with the character s and have at least 5 characters in their first name so we have susan mavres like we have also shelly who's uh, who's having uh, let's say 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 characters in total in their in her first name so in this way we'll retrieve all those values whose first name starts with s and basically have at least 5 characters in length and that brings us to the end of today's session guys i hope you understood how to use the sql like operator the sql like operator makes it simple for users to identify patterns in a tables columns it is an easy to use powerful tool available to everyone using sql for managing data so now that you know about the like operator it is time for you to start querying and manipulating data to find different types of pattern with the help of various commands and operator Thank you for watching the video guys I hope you found this tutorial informative and helpful if you have any further queries regarding any of the topics that are covered in today's session feel free to let us know in the comment section below and a team of experts will be more than happy 
to help resolve all your queries at the earliest. Until next time, stay safe and keep coding.